Hey folks, welcome back to iPilot Link in the Field. I'm Jason Helfen, and today you're joining me on a chain of lakes up in northwestern Wisconsin where I'm going to be doing some contour trolling for early fall crappies as they transition from the shallow water into the stability of the basin. Now to target these early fall crappies, I'm going to be making use of perhaps the most widely anticipated feature of iPilot Link, and that's the follow the contour feature. So stick around to see it in action. Now let's take a look at how follow the contour operates. From my position anywhere on the chart, I'm just going to cursor over to the contour that I want to follow. So I'll go ahead and select this contour, the 15 foot contour. I'm going to press go to, and that pressing go to gives me two options. I can either navigate to that position, but of course I don't want to do that. I want to follow that 15 foot contour. So I'm going to select follow the contour, arrow to the right, and now of course I have two choices. I can follow that contour in the orange direction, this way, or I can follow that contour in the gray direction, which would be this way. Now I intend to follow that contour in the gray direction, so I'm going to arrow down to gray and select it. Now nothing's happening right now, iPilot Link is waiting for me to turn the prop on. Of course I can select any speed I'd like to uh, navigate the contour at. I'm going to select a speed of 2 using my remote and turn the prop on. You'll see now my speed is starting to bump up. You can see a rotating propeller icon down here in the data display area. And on the chart, you can see that I've begun to navigate towards that point on the contour where I'm going to begin following that particular 15-foot contour. Like all the iPilot Link features, follow the contour allows me to focus all of my attention on fishing, whether that's catching fish, rebaiting like I am now, or just dealing with other things in the boat. I don't have to worry about the boat getting off course, getting out of the productive strike zone when I use the navigational features for my pilot link. Now as the system navigates along this contour, you'll notice that the selected contour, here the 13 foot contour is still shown as the bold line, the bold contour, and my projected course is shown as a, uh, as a yellow line overlaying that contour. Now navigating with the follow the contour feature is of course totally flexible with iPilot Link. If I want to move from one contour to another, say my bite has died here on the 13 foot contour, I want to slide out a little bit deeper, what I can do is cancel the current navigation. So I just pressed menu once. The first option there is cancel navigation and that's what I want to do. So that's going to turn the follow the contour feature off as well as turn the prop off. Now if I want to slide out a little deeper, what I can do is, from my current position, select maybe a contour that's two foot deeper, the 15 foot contour, press the go to button, select follow the contour, pick the direction that I want to follow the contour in. Here I want to follow it in the orange direction. That looks good. Now all I need to do is turn my propeller on and away we go. Now perhaps as much as any other iPilot Link function, follow the contour is really targeting the modern mobile angler on the go. And if you're one of those guys, then follow the contour and iPilot Link are definitely going to help you put more fish in the boat. 